you're really not supposed to get feelings in this lifestyle unless it's something that is kind of clear for everybody involved. Swinging is not the same as polyamory, right? Polyamory is like multiple loves, multiple relationships. Swinging, for the most part, is more like multiple, like like sexual friendships. They're not a lot of romantic relationships. Like I don't have romantic relationships with my Springer friends, right? We're friends. We see each other when we see each other. We support each other. We always, you don't have to fuck all the time, but like it's just one of those things where I'm not romantically involved. I don't get jealous when they spend time with other people. Like it's just we're just friends that are sexual, right? Um, which is still fun, right? Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think it's important that if you enter this lifestyle, you understand that you have some responsibility and you should never say that you can handle something that you can't handle. Meaning if you don't want to see your partner have sex with someone else, you just want to watch or you just want to do oral, you should fucking say so. You shouldn't just sit there and let something happen in front of you that gives you the bad feelings because nothing in the swinger lifestyle, in my opinion, is supposed to give people bad feelings. It's not like a bunch of people grinding their teeth, watching their partners fuck somebody else. I, most of the time, it's, it's people cheering for that. It's people jerking off to that. Like, it's like, holy shit, my wife's taking all these men. It's so hot. Like, it's just like, oh my God, it is such a supportive and fun environment. There's not room for jealousy. Jealousy would be noticeable if it was in the room. Like, it would be like weird, right? So I think it's important that people understand not to get too attached to people that you swing with. I mean, don't, you know, don't expect to see them every weekend kind of thing once you've made a connection. Um, not every couple wants that, uh, things like that. But, you know, also, especially as a single woman unicorn, it's my fucking job not to get feelings when I fuck couples, right? Especially. Um, it's my job to be the sexual candy, as I like to call it, the guest star for some spicy sex. That is my role. And that is all I would ever want as a sexual unicorn. Never have I looked at a couple that I have been in, like had sex with or wanted to have sex with and thought, oh, that's just a way for me to get the guy. No, I've never done it that way. It's always been the fun. The role for me was always connecting with women. You can find my podcast on any of the apps you see on your screen.